Uh, charm at uh, 2.33. It's a Tuesday, the 3rd of December. And I think I need to get serious about my work. Like, I've been laughing too much. Uh, yes, I do have a phobia. So please don't judge me. At least I'm, I'm open about it. And I'm open about it. And I'm open about it. 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 I remember I was at the Greek show and we were broadcasting. And you know how, like, in, during the Greek show, they have, like, they're just moving around or whatever. Do you know, I, almost, I started crying and the team didn't even understand what was going on. They're like, Mr. Day, okay and i was like guys the truth of the matter is not good i just needed to get that out you know uh, if you see me run away clowns good it's all the same to me really uh, but I, th- I don't think i'm the only one i think there's a lot of people who also feel the same way uh, but uh, moving on to other things i think i did mention that we do have a guest in studio uh, that i'm really excited about um, if you know me well you know i've been talking about how uh, the internet has created new celebrities celebrities are no longer the guys on the tv uh, or the guys that you've seen movies or musicians they're actually found online and i think this guy uh, he's an absolutely bright star and the reason why I'm in studio wearing my glasses if you're going to be watching us live uh, is uh, because the future is so bright so you need to stick around to understand exactly why I'm saying that every day drink a lot what? just drink a lot every day every day <laughs> Right, so uh, this gentleman, uh, he's uh, done something quite fascinating. For me, I'm always uh, curious about how content creation is actually uh, aggregated, how people come up with some of the topics that they they talk about on social media. Uh, But like I did say, he's an absolute star. I love, love, love watching him. He's a ball of sunshine. Uh, When I switch onto my TikTok, I've never seen him on other platforms, but I know that he's really big on other platforms. But for me, TikTok is where it's at. And this particular uh, gentleman did something quite uh, unique. So I'm going to just give some clues and hopefully we can just assist people if they can guess who you are is that okay yeah, oh, okay <laughs> so first and foremost you need to say hello to everybody uh in in your without mentioning your name Mari guys that's it like give us more <laughs> Mari guys Mari boy guys uh tashika ko zimbabwe tiru faru ko zimbabwe and tiripo Right. <laughs> All right. So that's the first clue. Uh, you must be able to pick up uh, when he's saying that. But he's also uh, created content around teaching people around his culture. But he didn't really actually grow up here. So for me, it's very fascinating uh, that we find ourselves here. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's see if we can uh, pick up a couple of people who may have guessed. Can you give us like other clues? You are from Australia. I'm from Australia. Uh, uh-huh. Um, do not catch Igure, say Miss, <laughs> as, as well as Miss Red. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, and foot, hey, chichimwe. Hmm. Hey. Uh, and do not go to Tamba Borodel. Oh, no, 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 are no second guesses there. That is Tats. This is Optimus Prime. Welcome, Tats, to the rush with Queen Shumba. Is that correct? Uh-huh. <laughs> we, we, we have a lot of interesting uh-huh. characters. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Is, is your name Tats? My name is Tats. Alrighty. Tats Kewanu. So Optimus Prime knows you. You're oh. that famous. Hey, my Transformers. I know, on the rush. Tatoshi I We're there. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so Tats, uh, I'm really excited to actually have you here. Uh, welcome back home. Thank you. But Thank can you. we call it, can we even call it home? Because you haven't been here for a long time, yeah? It's been, it's been nine years. Ooh. But this will always be home. Uh-huh. Might as well. Like this will always be home. I feel at home. Here. Mm-hmm. You know, just I in a Nesikuru wangu, mm-hmm. we're just walking around Harare. Like I don't feel scared. I don't feel any. T- I just feel home. Mm-hmm. You know. So this for me is always going to be home. All right. Yeah. So let's let's start from the beginning. Uh, Tatenda Nyarue. Nyarue. Tatenda Smart Nyarue. Oh, Smart. Yeah, hey, smart. that's a typical Zimbabwe name. <laughs> <Is that? laughs> smart. Tatenda Smart mm. uh, Nyarue. Uh, also known as Men Like Tats. A lot of yeah. people actually uh, are fanning out right now. Which is wild, uh, but, oh. but like I was saying, TikTok is a really big platform, right? Oh, massive! Mm. Oh, massive! TikTok, my Zimbabwe is really poor. Ah, yeah. on TikTok, you're there. <laughs> I think my mom told me. My mom's mm. the one that told me to send her. Yeah. Ah, Tara showed up at TikTok. Yeah. I did. Ah, from there. So that's how it started. That's how it started. Because I want to know uh, from the beginning. Because obviously, like you're now this big brand, I think, on uh, t- on social media in general. Uh, but we always like to get to the beginning of the story. Don't get up because you don't just wake up and you're just famous. Uh, bro. Uh, true, yeah. True, true, so true. you moved to uh, Australia at what age? One and a half. Ah, 
Sawa sio mburi mzimbabwe une password yekuno ngiri. Eh ndile password yekuzimbabwe. Ah guys vanda. Wangu wangu. Ni jairi re guys. Really? Eh uh, sure. Okay. So you moved one year, you out of here mom is like yo we're going. We're out. Aha. Uh-huh. So it was uh, the whole family. Whole family uh, and ni daddy na mama. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. So uh okay, you don't mind if I ask you how old you are now? Uh 21. Okay, so 21. you're fairly young. Uh, at what point do we start this whole social media thing? 17, 17 uh-huh. in in uh is it 17 year in high school uh-huh. during covid times. Mm. Uh, when there was lockdown, nothing to do. When I actually got a cool and I thought, you know, why not try some videos and see how people, you know? Yeah, but I've, how do yeah. you get how do you get though to doing the kind of content that you do because you do a very unique type of content yeah, where yeah. you're teaching people Shona Uh, yeah. People who are in the diaspora were just teaching about uh, the Zimbabwean culture. All right. yeah. I, I didn't always start with this. Uh-huh. I was doing yeah, Australia talking, you know, speaking in English, you know, mm-hmm. teaching, teaching people about high school and stuff. And then, like I said, my mom told me to tender. You know, there's Zimbabweans on TikTok. Mm. And then when I started making videos, I noticed, Kuti, you know, there's some people that related to me, you know. Mm. Because I can't speak Shona that fluently. Non Zosian, yes, I can understand, but Kutara, Manje, you know, Um And then there was other people in comments like, I can relate, I can relate. You know, I started having um, people my age telling me, oh, you know, I admire that you go on the internet and you can, you know, you not talk off. Obviously, not talk off. I mean, uh, not, talk, not talk, if you but don't get shouted at, you're not Zimbabwean for real. Yeah, they have to shout. And yeah, they have yeah. to shout. Yeah, it's like a, that's how it started. And then I started to just. Try and do more, you know. Mm-hmm. Try and teach people about the culture, you know. Yeah. Uh, Kupa mama kumbeza nema butu. If you do something wrong, mm-hmm. you know things like that. Um, and just yeah, things like that. Just trying to do my best to expose and to try and teach diaspora mm-hmm. the culture. But who language. teaches you? Mama and daddy. Literally, it's mom and dad. They're like, this is how it goes. These are the cultural norms. This is of a course, yes, yeah. this is a no. Of course. Yeah. Wow. So mom, mom and dad, they speak. To us, me and my siblings, they speak to us in Shona. Uh-huh. But it's it's still so we respond in English, mm. manje. You know, um, for me, you know, I was born here, and then my mom always speaking to me in in Shona. So shout yeah. out to mom and dad. Yeah, man. shout out to them. Ah, shout <laughs> out to them. Because vasho mama na jinu wana 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 jinu mstere. Ina wana vasho wana wana jinu wana jinu mstere. Ina wana vasho wana Shout sure. out to mom and dad. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I really quite like that. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> let me just play you a couple of voice notes from the people. Okay. So that you know they're really listening and they actually quite like you. Beep, 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 beep. Well, hashtag got some by Tuesday. Miss Ruth Madigo, it's been a minute. I'm busy. I show my one. But anyway, stay to the port. I got jiggy. But otherwise, Madigo Mistred, welcome, welcome. My Russians, Wagwa, and Madigo Kwamurikoko. That is because the Russian president, who you peep, 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 peep. So that's our Russian president. He's just acknowledging you. Oh, okay. Saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, hello. Uh, he Thank always you. does that. So um, I'm going to show you the messages here and then you can read them for yourself. Right. Uh, and then you see how much of a, a sensation you actually are in these streets. Uh, but there's a couple of questions that I still have on the other side of the 2020. So is it okay if we do the news and then we come back? Oh. All right. Indeed, you're listening to the Rush to Drive Time like no other. In studio, we've got Smart. Uh, we've just learned that. Is <laughs> <laughs> smart. <here. laughs> Yo, yeah. so it's actually That's on your smart. birth certificate. On my birth certificate, Smart. Yeah. Is it not matching? No. Hey. It's, you don't look hey. like a Smart. I don't know. Hey. What, you know China and so forth, but you, I don't know if you look like a They're Smart. It's like a Smart. Yeah, hey. you know. And this is what you're going to have again. What are you talking about? So, Man Like Tats is uh, a Zimbabwean content creator based in Australia. We're really happy to actually have him uh, coming through. But I wanted to, uh, to understand what, what inspired this particular visit. Is it because of Christmas or just in June? Um, I, I knew Kuti Mai, I built, I'd built a, a really big audience, mm-hmm. you know, in, in Zimbabwe. And I thought, you know, because my, my parents are actually going to come. Mm-hmm. You know, and the law attached to Zimbabwe because Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. And at this time, I was living by myself, whatever. But um, I knew that I'd built a really big fan base, and I was like, how can I make these videos and not go back home? Yeah. So I got, yeah, and I thought, ah, let me just book the tickets. I booked the ticket, and now nice. I'm here. Nice. Yeah. Oh, we're happy to have you at home. Yeah. Uh, but the other thing that are probably, uh, and a lot of people are probably wondering, do you make money from social media? Do I make money from social media? Yeah. Yeah, do not, ah, it ain't for money. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's It's good, but I'm not, obviously, I'm not at the level where I want to be at, mm-hmm. you know, um, but uh, that's why we pray every day, mm-hmm. you know, trying to get to that spot. But yeah, okay. not bad that I shall. Yeah. All right. But in Australia, there's no creator fund. I was going to ask, do they have that yet? No, in... they don't have a creator fund. Really? No, they don't have a creator fund. So most of the time it's 
brand deals, sponsorships, and just things like that. Mm -hmm. um, which, you know, that's what most Australians, content creators, have to doing. rely on. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, and in terms of maybe um, the role social media plays in, you know, bridging cultural and linguistic gaps for the diasporans, do you, do you think it's, is there a role that it plays or you just, no, I think it does. I think it does teach because there's a lot of people that have a perception, you know, or they, they maybe they don't want to go to Zim because they're, you know, they don't know what it's like. They weren't born, they've never been there. So, that's why I make the videos I do. That's why I'm making the videos that I am now. You know, mm -hmm. even Dijibika, I'm a Tamba na go go. So people can see, like, you know, Zimbabwe is actually, the culture is amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think it does help, help a lot of people, the diaspora, you know, to really understand. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it can be my funnies, and that, that's how I portray them sometimes. I yeah, put them out as my funnies. You know? Communication, it happens yeah, differently. Exactly. Hey? Some people yeah. take it in differently. So if I do my funnies, you know, mm. the people, you know, they, they see it and they're like, oh, okay, maybe yeah. when I go, that's what I'll do, you know, Kita mm. Magadi and you, you know. Yeah. But as, I say it as a joke. Um, not as a joke, but I do it in my videos, mm -hmm. but in a comic manner. In a comic manner. But then yeah. when they go to Zimbabwe, they say it as well. Mm. And, you know, that's just what I want to do. I just want to inspire yeah. and, um, you know, motivate them to, to go back home. Yeah, mm. very, very important. Uh, and what aspects of like Zimbabwean uh, culture beyond language mm. um, do you think is most important for the diaspora to maybe preserve? Maybe preserve? <laughs> it's besides the language. Mm. I think just uh, cultural, like, my norms, you know. Even me, I don't know. There's just, there's just a feeling. Mm. I feeling. I think even food. Yeah. I food in the diaspora. There's people saying, Ah, did they cook sadza? And I'm like, What? You know, like, sadza. I admit, mean, I don't like sadza every day. I every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Know, I but, mean, all of us, even us <laughs> in Zimbabwe, like, yeah. no. But Can yeah, we food. have some rice and some chicken and sayo, some Right. That's, that's what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. Some pizza. Nah. But yeah. Definitely the food's food's a big one. Food's mm -hmm. a big one. I think that's something that. Um, good diaspora, we need to start mm -hmm. really having our food and language and yeah. Yeah. Can I tell you something strange that happened? Yeah. So I was um, in South Africa for some event and they were like these big Nigerian superstars and whatever. Okay. And I did something that is very Zimbabwean, but for me it's normal. But he was like, oh my God. So I was trying to talk to him, but you know how sometimes you can't talk to like, uh, for me, as I can't talk to men when, they, when they're seated and I'm standing. So I had to come down. Exactly. And he was like, yo, don't do that. Don't do that. But for me, it's very normal, right? Exactly. So those are some of the things that I think we must just preserve to normalize yeah, it, right? Exactly. Yeah. Even if um, an elder is coming to shake my hand, I I'll stand up. Yeah. You know, I won't yeah. stay seated. That's it's just a lack it's of respect. It's just rude. It's yeah. very rude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you see that a lot, though. Yeah. And that's why people will just be like, oh, like they'll say to Mr. Good, ah, what's up? Mm. What's up, bro? Mm. Like, bro. Hey, bro. Me, your bro. I in the raw moon. But maybe that's an idea for your next skit. Like, oh yeah, maybe. You it's know. What is that called? Yeah, but there's another way, a word for it. But it? I'm not even Zimba, please. Did. No clapping hands. No. There's a, can someone help me on the rush? What is it called? Not Kuombera, but Kuomoresavana. The male version. Kurovachi? Kurova Gosh. 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 Can someone uh, please help us on the rush? We also try to just tap into our cultural uh, norms. Mm. I think Satenda not only is inspiring the diaspora, but I think you're also inspiring the locals oh, to, to you. really, you know, tap into uh, their culture. So, um, how long are you around? Six weeks. Ooh. Uh, it's like a January 10. I'll be, I'll be leaving January 10, so I'm here till then. Quite a while. Yeah, I'm here. All right. So, where can people find you if they want to just, you know, link up and just find out more about you? Find out more about me. Ah, uh, my clubs. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> My vow, now it's in the time. Um, no, nah, anywhere, ah, uh, anywhere. Um, anywhere. I'm, 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 what's what's what are your handles? Um, man like tats mm -hmm. on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, actually, Tatenda Nyarue on Instagram, man mm -hmm. like tats on TikTok, Tatenda Smart Nyarue on Facebook, and hey, what else? Man like tats on YouTube, uh -huh. and that's it. Right. That's where I, that's where I am. That's where you find that's it. Where I'm based. Let's see if someone is gonna help us here. So, um, <laughs> Kurova, okay. Let's do it. in the SRM studio. We're learning. Mama Giza, in the SRM studio. Bane papa tata mzima. Wana gaji ziva. Mufunge. Tats, thank you so much for finding time to just chill with us. Uh, you came with someone. I'm just gonna just switch on the mic as well, cause you had like a really cool accent. I was like, yo, I need to hear. Good eye, mate. Yeah, how are you? <laughs> how are you? How are you? I didn't get your name again. We need to tell Zimbabwe. My name's Reese. Reese. Yeah. Uh, Reese, are you also Zimbabwe? 
Yeah, I am Genova Kusaka. Where are you finding all these uh, Genova Kusaka? <laughs> okay, so are you also here for the six weeks? Um, I'm just here for a short stint. So I'm just looking after mm. a few things in regards to tats. I'm his manager, so... Nice. Manager yeah. stuff, so, so actually, the yeah. perfect one. Manager, let's talk to you real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how do you manage a brand like this? I think, um, you know, with Tats, mm. you know, he's able to relate to the people and I think that's number one that we put the people, he's relatable and mm -hmm. I think we, we drive it around the people. I think he's been able to build those connections and I think it makes my job a little bit easier to find those brands with the right values as Tats has really good strong principles and values and we just work on that on that, I guess, long term plan to develop his brand holistically mm -hmm. and um, yeah, so we're on a journey right now but I think it's really exciting, got a lot of things um, mm -hmm. planned and yeah, I think, yeah, he's very relatable, yeah. All so, right. Nice, yeah. like it. Uh, what you sound like you studied like business management or something. Um, Sounds so professional. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I I studied agricultural science and marketing. So ah. and then yeah, my field is in marketing as well. I work in marketing. So a lot of what I do with my day to day translates with what I do with tats. I think it's, yeah, mm -hmm. it's um really rewarding. And I guess yeah, work with someone so talented like himself and um yeah, work on that long term strategy. Love it, Reese. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about Zimbabwe? How long have you? When was the last time you were here? Yes, I was here five years ago. So um, yeah, it's Tell first me about time the, develop years. the developments. I want to yeah. call them developments. Developments. Yeah, Happening no, I think I think it's been awesome. I think um, there's a lot more different buildings. I think a lot of investment into Zimbabwe. It's coming out from the outside world, which is awesome to see. So I think there's a lot of potential and a lot of opportunities. So I think you know, coming here with Tats, we're really excited to get going and get started and um, work with people, collaborate, and um, really, I guess, invest back into where we're from mm -hmm. and um, yeah, work with people. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. We love it. Uh, please, guys, manage Angaripo Mamunzwa. I pay your Tats, Mabasa, because yeah, to do the big rush. And for Daru Chaga Baby, work with Zimbabwe. Oh, Saka. Gosh. Yeah. Saka. <laughs> I was kind of recently single. <laughs> and I will Chaga Baby. And he knows how to say good eye. Yeah. And uh, good eye, mate. He looks okay. nice in his suit, so hey, I'm vouching for the guy, you know. Just <laughs> Just shoot your shot, go fire. Now we're going to put the baby management to Tats, uh, but the actual management of the brand Tats is going to go to Reese. But let's just, you know, please DM, DM him for more details. Yeah, yeah, yeah for more details. <laughs> Gen out. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming through to hang out. Uh, thank you for having us, Miss Red. Before you go though, what's your favorite song right now, Zimbabwean song? Hey, I think, ah, what's that one? Bestie. Bestie? By Sean. Sean. Sh Reese, hey, Bestie. By Sean. Who? By Sean. The one that went to Coldplay, Australia. Oh, Shona. Shona, yeah, Shona. Ah, right. This one here? Is that the yeah. one? Special. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. As, as requested by Tats. Man like Tats. Yeah. Yeah.